Hey everybody, it's I Want To Be Retro. Today we're going to take a look at installing Git-T, a self-hosted GitHub alternative, on Linux. To get started, launch a terminal and run sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade to install any available software updates. Then we'll use apt install to install Git and the MariaDB database backend. Next, we'll create a Git-T Linux user. Then we'll elevate to a root shell using sudo su and execute the MySQL secure installation script. Follow the prompts to set a root MySQL password and mitigate known MySQL vulnerabilities. Now we'll connect to the MariaDB database using the MySQL command line utility. And using SQL commands, we'll create a Git-T database as well as a database service account user with full permissions to the new database. We'll flush the MySQL privileges, close the connection to MySQL, and exit the root shell. Using wgit, we'll download the latest release of git-t, then we'll use chmod plus x to make the downloaded file executable. We'll move the git-t binary to the system path, then run git-t dash dash version to make sure it's working. Next, we'll create the required directory structure for git-t and set the necessary folder permissions. Now we'll create a git-t service file and edit it in the nano editor. Copy the service configuration from the video description, then save your changes and close out of Nano. We'll run systemctl daemon reload, then make sure the new git-t service is started and enabled. Open a web browser and navigate to the DNS or IP address of the host, colon 3000. Using the video description as a guide, complete the database configuration, then scroll to the bottom of the form and click install git-t. Once the installation completes, click the Register Now link. Register a new user by entering a username, email address, and password, then click Register Account. Welcome to Git-T, running on your Linux device.